Hello, my Scorpios. Elsie here to do your energetic check-in for the week ahead. So this is the week of Valentine's Day. So if you're into that, we are going to do um, a spread that is going to talk about your person here. And uh, if you need to know anything about a general reading, that will be in the description below. If you uh, would like to have a private reading with me, if you are uh, outside of Canada, please go to Wizio, W I S I O dot com. And if you are within Canada, please uh, go ahead and just email me, Elsie at tenacupstarot.ca. All right, so um, I really do appreciate when you like, share, and subscribe. Um, I would love for you to subscribe. If you do not decide to subscribe, which would be sad, um, then I really hope that you'll give me a thumbs up on the, uh, a video that you watch, one or more. And uh, I, I'm grateful for that because that's how I grow. If you want to support this channel, a good way to do that is by giving me a thumbs up. All right, so I've already blessed these cards, my Scorpios. I'm just going to cut these here. And let's see what we've got here for Scorpio. Sun, moon, rising, Venus and Jupiter for the week ahead. Sun, moon, rising, Venus and Jupiter for the week ahead. Sun, moon, rising, Venus and Jupiter for the week ahead. Thank you. We are going to start with the overall energy being the Empress. And then we're going to find out how is your person feeling currently? How is Scorpio's person feeling? And that's whoever you're thinking about right now, right? Your person is thinking about the Ace of Cups. They're thinking about love, starting something brand new, um, something that they love or someone that they love. And then we have the King of Swords. And uh, that energy is how they view you. So they view you as uh, someone who is highly intelligent, someone who could be an authority on something. Um, next card is your action and advice. Actions and advice, it looks like, you know, being the last person standing. Um, someone who, um, you know, is, is willing to go to battle for whatever it is that they love and they want. And then we have the outcome. And the outcome is the Ace of Wands. <coughs> Pardon me. All right, so the overall energy, we have you um, as the... Oh, we have uh, the Three of Pentacles in the bottom of the deck, so we're looking, uh, looking at and talking about some sort of a passionate partnership of some kind that you've been wishing for. And um, the Empress is telling me that um, the overall energy is of uh, creativity, of being grounded. I feel like it's your... Um, uh, I think what's on the top of your mind here is, is really um, connecting to spirit and figuring out what it is that is supposed to be done at this time regarding um, your person. But the Empress is someone who is uh, grounded and creative. So she is someone who really is um, self-sufficient. She is someone who is a mother. So uh, it could be someone that you're thinking about that uh, could be a good mother for your children, or maybe you are a mother. And... Um, that overall energy just tells me that you're strong, that you're standing up in your power, and um, that the Empress is, um, yeah, always someone who is who is ready to help other people for sure. Um, how is this person feeling about you? Well, it's the Ace of Cups. It looks like they want to start something new with you. Um, they have overflowing and depth of love, so deep um, romantic love for you here. And um, I feel as though this person has been wanting to come towards you, Scorpio, with this information for quite some time. However, um, they how they view you is the King of Swords. So they view you as someone who cannot be approached haphazardly, someone who has to be approached um, um, with... Um, caution. I feel like they're worried that you might have a bit of a razor tongue here. I think that they're worried that you may say something that would make them feel bad, um, that they're scared to approach you because you seem very powerful, very strong. You're someone who speaks your truth, someone who speaks out, and you're also someone who's very educated. So they know that they have to come towards you um, in the right way. They can't just, you know, half-ass it. They have to, they have to um, be able to come towards you correctly. 
And then the uh, action and advice here is that um, if you really want what's going on here when that person comes, that you you are going to fight for what you feel is yours. You're either going, going to um, tell them to go away or you're going to fight for what you feel um, is important to you being the last person standing. But I feel like there's going to be some sharp words that are said here. I feel like there has been a time that has passed that you two have not seen each other. I feel like you've been thinking it and overthinking it. And um, I feel like both of you uh, have this passion. That is the outcome um, that the two of you have brand new passion that starts. So I feel like with this outcome that both of you are going to fight for what you feel is... Um, is important to you. Um, I feel like it's it's your wish and your dream that both of you uh, come together here. I feel like you've decided you, you've you picked each other and um, no surprises, right? The Knight of Swords is about a little bit of chaotic and fast energy. No surprises. I feel like you have been feeling this person coming toward you, um, but you really haven't said anything to anyone. So let's do a little bit of clarifying here. Find out what's going on. Tell me about the Empress, please. Tell me about the Empress and the overall energy. Empress and the overall energy. What is on the mind of Scorpio, please? Clarify overall energy. There we go. Clarify the overall energy, please. Empress. Clarify the Empress, please. Tell me more about the Empress energy. All right, so we've got Justice, and um, I feel like um, that what is on your mind is that you do want balance. You do want balance, you do want justice. Now, this could be justice with someone else. Um, um, the other person, I feel like the overall energy is the Empress, but I feel like you want justice with um, with someone else who is outside of this. And um, I feel like there is something going on in the background that might be legal. And I'll tell you why. And that's because the King of Swords is here and he is, he can be the energy of someone who is a lawyer. So I feel like there might be something going on here that is, um, is colliding with some sort of... Um, something that has to be worked out between the two of you. And I feel like it could be a breakup. It could be settling of assets. Um, I feel like this this justice card is what's going to bring you nearer to the Empress energy. But I feel like this justice card is something that's going on in the background that's actually more to do with legal than anything else. And then we have the Page of Cups. I feel like once you... Um, figure out what's going on legally here that I think you're going to um, take your energy elsewhere. So that's how I feel that you are um, overall. I think you're just going to leave an old relationship because you need um, you need to be able to um, carry on on a path that you love. You need to get to know yourself. You need to love yourself again. I think that's really what the Page of Cups is about. It's about um, maybe uh, feeling as though you did when you were younger and um, I feel like you lost the person you were when you were younger and so it's time to go off and find that person again and then we have the seven of swords i feel like you were deceived in a relationship and um, that might be why the overall energy is with the empress because it's telling you that you should connect to spirit if you uh, want any more information about what's going on here i feel like you should connect to spirit and find out um, what's coming up in terms of this um, seven of swords here Oh, okay, so I feel like um, this Ace of Wands is telling me that there was uh, there was some passion here in another relationship, but I feel as though you were, yeah, you were, uh, um, you were cheated. I think you uh, someone cheated on you, maybe emotionally, maybe not necessarily physically, but I feel like the deception was uh, about passion. That the person claimed to love you, claimed they had passion for you, but it just didn't work out that way. So I feel like the emperor and her empress energy is telling you, you know what, you still got it. You've got everything that you need to move forward. So you uh, you should do that because there is still love here. Um, there is the ace of cups, and that energy is how your person is feeling about. You. So um, this is now, um, I feel like you broke away from someone here and this is the new energy going into this Ace of Cups. And so this would be someone that you're thinking of. So you're not thinking of the old person, you're thinking of probably someone new or whomever is on your mind at this time. Um, 
how is this person feeling about you? Um, they're feeling like they do need to um, have some sort of uh, a transformation or bring something else to an end before they can approach you. And um, I feel like this is the enter the center energy here is all about uh, legal. Like this person, I feel is going to transform in order for you to love them. Um, and part of the transformation is probably them leaving a relationship as well. We have the magician, which tells me that there has been. Um, some manifest manifesting going on here and you could be manifesting someone who is like the king of pentacles so the king is um you know he he does have the Midas touch he's a father he's a business owner and he's someone who's financially stable so Midas touch i mean that you know whatever he touches turns to gold he's a good business person um he is you know someone who's probably going to be higher up in a corporation and um, i feel like that person feels like they've been trying to transform themselves to be more like you, more spiritual, because you are the sign of Scorpio. I feel like they feel you have a spiritual side and that they have to work on theirs because they're more grounded. Um, they're more logical and grounded than anything else. And I feel like they want to be um, more like you because they see the levity that it gives in your life here. And then we have the King of Swords. And the King of Swords is clarified by the Two of Swords. So um, there is going to be a decision made here. I feel like you are going to separate from the person, whoever it is that you're with, and then you are going to carry forward. And the person who is going to be your person, the one that's got this Ace of Cups here, I feel like they could be a Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus. Um, they definitely could be Pisces. They could also be Scorpio. So, um, I'm sorry, um, Capricorn. So I feel like um, there is uh, someone coming towards you here that could be an air sign for sure, or they could have air in their chart. But I feel like there is going to be a decision made here, um, either at this conversation when you meet them, or um, uh, maybe it's in text over the phone. But I feel like there's going to be um, a meeting and a conversation had here, and there's going to be decisions that are made between the two of you. We've got the Five of Swords again, and I feel like the both of you are ready to fight for whatever it is that you um that you want and i think what you want is the two of cups i think the two of you um are going to speak up you're going to speak your truth you're going to tell each other how you feel and things are going to carry on from there now the five of swords is clarified by the hierophant so i feel like two of you are going to fight for this um this union here this love and um, you're going to do the right thing. I think you're first you're going to wait until those other relationships are done with. And then you're going to uh, carry forward with the Hierophant energy. And possibly um, there might be marriage in the cards as well. So the Hanged Man tells me that you've thought about this through and through. You thought about this for so long, Scorpio, that I think that um, it's almost to the point where you're in stagnant energy that you're overthinking it. Um, I don't feel you have to overthink it anymore because I feel like you've come to a decision which has made you feel um, like you do want to fight for this relationship here, that you do want to fight for it. Um, the uh, outcome of this does look like it is the Ace of Wands, clarified by the Judgment card. We are still in Mercury Retrograde, right? And whether we are or whether we aren't, the Judgment card still has the same meaning. It is just that, you know, someone is coming from your past, coming forward, and uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be an ex. It could be a friend, a best friend, a mother, father, sister, brother. This doesn't have to be romantically linked. Um, although there is love here, this could be romantic love because we do have the Ace of Cups here. I feel like the person that's coming forward is someone you haven't seen in a while. I was feeling that up here, that this is someone who is coming from your past to the present to help you clean some of your karma. I feel like there's also going to be passionate time here. We have the Eight of Pentacles, could be someone that you met at work or someone who's just a really hard worker. You could be the hard worker as well, um, but you could be working really hard on trying to get this person to come forward to you. Um, the High Priestess is uh, the person who you would go to to get your advice, right? This could also be you, Pisces. Um, you could have Pisces in your chart, um, but uh, it is always uh, when the high priestess shows up it's you know connect to your to connect to yourself connect to spirit you need to be connecting spiritually in order to know if this is your reading or not in order to know if this person that um, you knew from long ago you guys could have worked together as well um, that this person is 
um, coming from the past to the present. And you really need to listen to yourself and to spirit to know if this is the right thing to do or not. Now, the sun is here, which tells me that things are about to about to get great. Like um, you guys are going to grow together. This passion can grow. And um, I feel like it's that this person is going to be a good match for you. They could be Leo. They could be Pisces. They could be someone who is an earth sign. Um, I feel like the two of wands is here telling me that you've already chosen the path that you want to go down. So I think it's just a matter of this person coming together uh, with you and um, and uh, <clears throat> I think talking about this thing is where it's going to start first. You two need to talk to each other first to figure out what's going on between you and whether this is a viable relationship or not. Then we have toil and labor. So I feel like it was it was a really hard time for you um, at this point letting go of the the first relationship in order to get into the next relationship. I feel like you've been working a lot of long hours. You've been working um, really hard in order to make things move um, in your favor. Uh, working a lot of long, hard hours, yeah, um, in order to, you know, keep your sanity, really, um, to stay away from home. I think you're overworking yourself, um, Scorpio, but I feel like this is what you're doing in order to avoid any of these arguments and fights that, that you might, um, oops, that you might be having. Then we have concern. So I think you do have a concern about this person moving forward uh, and coming toward you because you know that it's been a while since you've seen them and um, you don't know if they are the person that you used to know, um, but you don't, they know the same about you, right? It's been a while since you two have talked. There's been a transformation, which tells me it could be one or both of you. And um, the concern here is that, do I really know this person anymore? <laughs> is is this the same person that I met? Um, how is this person feeling about me? Do they have concern about coming forward? Because it's been a long while since I've seen them. And then we have official person. So I feel like this official person is probably this King of Swords in the bottom here, that this person is is um, in fact someone who is going to help you through something legal. So your person could be someone who is uh, in in the legal um, area. Um, high honor. So I feel like your person is honored that you will meet them for conversation, that you even will entertain the idea of being with them your person also has a lot of integrity um, and they definitely will wait until um, all of that is done with before they come forward to you because that's what high honor is about. It's about um, having lots of integrity and being honored by those around you. So other people are watching. I feel like you... Um, that this person feels like um, their family is watching and so they have to be um, of the highest honor in order to move forward and get out of all of this and come toward you. And then we have uh, the main male. So um, we have someone here who definitely could be a man, but definitely could be a female who's favoring her male energy. And um, I feel like this uh, this person that's coming forward is either someone who is female favoring the male divine energy or um, is a male. And that really is up to you and how you uh, will view this reading. Let's ask for some advice here. Let's figure out what else is going on in these energies here. Tell me more, please. For Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. There we go. Be open to love. So when this person does come forward and lets you know they have um, relationship ideas about you, try not to be too mean to them. <laughs> try try to bring them in slowly. If you know, and at least give them a conversation. Go with the flow, dependent on what they want to talk about. Um, and claim your art. Interesting. Your art might be speaking because under this, at the bottom of this here is the King of Swords. And the King of Swords is really good with their words. And um, then we have Be of Service. So the service that you could be for this person is really just lending an ear, right? Them lending an ear to you, you ear, lending an ear to them, because I feel like both of you are getting out of relationships that are... Um, 
that have been tough. It's been tough to get out of these relationships. And I think that being of service to each other is kind of like lending an ear. Um, your person felt like they were stabbed in the back. So their heart is broken. They have um, separation anxiety. You know, they have. Um, they feel like they were attacked within the relationship that they were in. So they're coming in kind of with their tail between their legs, right? Not really knowing if you were the person that they talked to before, not really knowing if you've transformed yourself. They're really taking a chance here. And it says here, the runner, the runner in a codependent relationship, fear of int intimacy. So be careful. This person could maybe not necessarily be uh, open emotionally for you. And they could be just coming in for support. Um, the cassette, it says here, uh, outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over and over in your head. Be careful with that thinking because um, if you look at this person and blame them for the things of the past, this thing is not going to move forward for you. So um, that's why I always say make sure that you're fully healed out of a relationship before you get into another because if you're not healed, this is what's going to happen. You're going to play those old things over the the outdated thinking in your mind over and over and over again. So I feel like um, your person does want to speak with you, that you might be getting contact from somebody uh, who does want to, who feels like you are of the highest honor and they are really honored that you'll even um, speak with them. It's been a long while, but they're coming back because of Mercury retrograde. I feel like it's going to be a good mood and a good um a good time of talking and sorting things out, talking about old times. Um, and I feel as though there's a lot of major arcana here. <laughs> so there is going to be a lot of really um, hard changes that you're going to have to go through. And it could be with this main male or a female who favors her masculine divine energy. All right, that's all I have for you, Scorpio. Um, I hope that was what you wanted to hear. Let me know if it um, if it uh, is anything that um, that resonates with you down in the comments below. I always love to see your comments. And um, thank you so much. And happy Valentine's Day. I'm going to get out of here. Bye-bye.